demonstrate the new properties of the attribute editor, it is best explained with an example using our reactor demo. I have already created this structure in a PLC that matches the reactor demo. The reactor kit is broken into two major components, the batch reactor and the product storage. In each, we have a set of attributes that represent physical assets such as motors, valves, pumps, and levels. Now, for the pumps, we're actually monitoring multiple values, so we will create its own structure. Let's go ahead and switch over to the IDE. I have just created a new galaxy, and the first thing that I did was creating my own template toolset. I derived from the base templates those objects that I will typically use in a galaxy. We will go ahead and close some of the views to allow more real estate for the attribute editor discussion. When building the representation of a physical asset in the field, I actually like working in the derivation view. I have sped up the video here a little bit uh, just to show the purpose of building that structure, but we want to focus on the attribute editor. As you see, as I'm building the different derived templates, the structure of the reactor's kit uh, starts getting uh, populated in the template toolbox, which is the key here of providing a good hierarchical structure so that you can templatize it and repeat it over and over. Once we complete the derivation structure, we'll go ahead and open the objects and start adding the attributes to them. When you access objects that have not previously been configured, you will see a blank canvas. Just click the plus sign to add a new attribute to the object. The left pane displays the attribute list with the configuration highlights, while the right pane is where all the configuration parameters for each attribute are customized. As we start adding the attributes to the objects, please take note of the flexibility in the editor with respect to the utilization of the available real estate. We have developed the editor from the ground up to allow easy integration with different monitor resolutions. The editor also uses high contrast emphasis to visually depict those attributes that have been enabled. Adding additional attributes has also been thought out with engineering efficiency in mind. Adding a new attribute will start with the same data type as the attribute previously created. Although it will not have the same customized configuration as the previous attribute selected, it will remember the last settings used if such feature for the attribute is enabled. Duplicating an attribute creates a smart clone of the attribute it was duplicated from. It is smart in the sense that it knows settings that pertain to itself. References using me. For example, if the state alert message referenced me.concentrate valve that description, it will now reference me.steam valve that description. As you continue to create more attributes, the visual highlights are a great aid to see patterns. I will go ahead and skip forward to the configuration of the pump template where we will show some more features of the editor. Now with the pump template almost completed, we want to show how easy it is to create multiples of a configuration. Just remember to use the duplicate function. You can actually select multiple attributes to be duplicated together. As you develop more complex applications, it is important to be able to search within the object. We have developed built-in search and filtering capabilities. Just think about how your brain works. It remembers bits of information just like finding data in a search engine. In the example shown here, I am adding filters to display only those attributes having limit alarms enabled or configured to historize. I may also want to search the object including scripts for certain keywords or characters. Until now, we have been working at the template level. This is what we mostly recommend to achieve a high level of engineering efficiency, especially when you start creating many instances out of a single template. In some cases, you may want to make customizations at the instance level, possibly for troubleshooting or monitoring purposes. In this example, we add a counter to the object just to demonstrate how you can easily declutter the object using the provided filtering functionality when you just want to focus on a subset of configured attributes. This concludes this segment. Please ensure to follow the related videos as there is much more to discover in this truly amazing release. Thanks for watching.